Hey everybody, welcome back. Do you have an unlimited income? I sure don't, and I'm pretty sure most of the people that are watching this very likely don't either. They're not millionaires, they don't have disposable unlimited incomes. And this is something that I've touched on in discussions in the past, where a lot of these channels that, that I watch on YouTube, they got me feeling like they must think everybody has a disposable income and unlimited resources. And honestly, most people who are preppers really don't. They really don't have all of those resources, all that funding, all that tons and tons of equipment and money to burn. And they don't all live in a rural community and they don't all live on a farm. They're not all homesteading. They're not all out in the country. And you hear it constantly. And I know a lot of people say it, They even in the comment section on many of the videos, and it would be ideal. Oh, if you're a prepper, you need to get away from the city. You need to go live in the country. If everybody who is a prepper could afford to do that and did run out to the country, there wouldn't be a country anymore. <laughs> it's already eroding away as it is. We're in a, a rural area, and whenever we go out to populated areas, we have to go less and less of a distance because it's dissolving away. They can't leave a patch of grass somewhere. Uh, all of the areas that are developed for your convenience, they continue to expand. And so we drive out to go do whatever we have to do and look, there's another acre or two of land that's been leveled where they've, they're hauling away the trees and they're paving it. How does it go? Um, Pave paradise, put up a parking lot, the song. I think that's how it goes, which is talking about that sort of thing, believe it or not. But we're seeing it all the time. The, the city is coming to you. So where are you going to go and hide to? Hide deeper and deeper in the woods, be uh, Grizzly Adams? Not everybody can handle that in, in real time, in real life. So yeah, that so-called progress is creeping up on everyone. Everybody who is a prepper, if they had the ability to run out, if they could afford it to afford to buy the land and the house and leave their job and maybe they'll find work and maybe they won't and run away like that, and that would be great, but it's not realistic, unfortunately. And it's also unrealistic that they can afford like um, five years worth of 30 year food to store up if they even had the space for it. They can't afford the latest AR-15 all tricked out. It's just not realistic. It's not realistic. Oh, you need to get out of the city. You need to have a garden. Maybe you're fortunate enough that you're in a house instead of an apartment, which a lot of preppers live in city limits and are in apartment living or townhouses. Even if you have a house, can you even do a garden? Some places don't have the space, even if you know, if you're living close to city limits, those houses get closer and closer together. You could reach through it, uh, your kitchen window into the neighbor's kitchen and do their dishes for them. That's how <laughs> you've seen houses like that. Or maybe you've got an um, HOA and they're like, oh no, you ain't putting that garden there. It is a lot to consider. We're fortunate that we have some space that we can do some fruit trees, we can do a couple of raised gardens, whatever. Not everybody has that luxury. Not everybody can afford the latest tricked out thing. You don't need to. You don't need to. And I think it can be discouraging for a lot of people in the preppy community that they feel like, oh, well, you know, I can't do this and I can't afford that. And, you know, I'm in a hurry. I, I want to hurry up and prepare just in case. They feel this sense of urgency, especially with all the drum beating that goes on within the prepper community about it's the end of the world and this disaster is happening and that disaster is right around the corner and they're like, oh my God, what do I do? Slow down and take a breath. It's not that bad. It's not that hard. Um, you don't need the fancy 30 year food. It's at the supermarket anyways. You just have to get your mind around it. I, uh, all the time I'm calling it out, rice, lentils, beans, pasta, that stuff will last for 30 years or more if you store it properly. I did a couple of videos on that a, a few years back. You can, you can take all the air out of it. 
and store it yourself and keep that for long periods of time. Just have some extra seasoning if that doesn't wet your palate, but it will keep you alive. Uh, water and water resources and the ability to filter or clean or boil water so that you can have a clean water source is important. Find the storage space. Maybe you're in, a in an apartment. Maybe you can designate a closet for prepping supplies. Maybe it's so tight where you are that you don't even have that. I know some of the apartment living can be absolutely abysmal in places like New York and Boston. And what some people do there is they go and rent a small storage locker. You can rent a small locker, real small, it's like a closet space. Store things there that it won't cost that much and you'll have it at a separate location in case of an emergency. You don't need the big fancy new guns. Really just something that's going to work uh, in all sorts of different situations. I'm, I lean more towards a traditional shotgun, a revolver, stuff that runs dirty, that's not too complicated, that always seems to work, especially a shotgun is very versatile. And those don't cost that much. They're not fancy, they're not gonna blow a big hole in the wall, well the shotgun might depends on what you're putting in it but you see my point you don't have to spend a fortune on weapons you don't have to spend a fortune on food if there are pantries in your area check them out the majority of food pantries are not quote unquote only for poor people they're a community thing for anyone who wants it and they're happy to give it away usually because they end up throwing a lot of it away because the they get so much food in they can't give it away fast enough and I've done several videos on that subject. You can get the food, you can get the supplies, you can get what you need, and don't feel overwhelmed thinking you have to go as fast as possible. Don't feel overwhelmed thinking you can't afford it. Don't be overwhelmed thinking, I can't get out of the city. Not everybody can, and it's not for everyone. Some people can't live out here, you know? They're not comfortable. It's too much of a culture shock. I prefer it, but that's me. That's us. So I don't know. Uh, like I said, it, it just bothers me that there's uh, so much emphasis on like all this expensive equipment and it, it people behave as if there's like every prepper is a millionaire. And if they were, they wouldn't have to worry about all of this, I'm sure. <laughs> They'd be a lot better off. They'd have their own bomb shelter and everything all tricked out. And that's another thing, not everybody can do that. Not everybody has a place that they can even go to. So, but you do what you can do. Whatever you can do that's your best effort, make that enough, at least for now. One step at a time one step at a time don't overwhelm yourself because then a lot of people when they get overwhelmed they just kind of give up and then they stop it's like losing interest in a hobby and what are you going to do so thoughts if you have any thoughts on that subject please feel free to post your thoughts in the comments section down below please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it Rumor has it, it helps with the algorithm. I think that's a lie, but I appreciate it. Share it if you can, probably the only way it'll get seen. ScrewTube hates this channel. If you saw random cat images and you're new to the channel and you're like, what's the deal with the cats? They're strays that my wife and I take care of. And pictures of them actually do help with YouTube's loading algorithm, a trick uh, passed on to me by a viewer once upon a time and it actually made a difference in loading. If you wanted to help the channel out, or the cats for that matter, there are links for that down below. Every little bit helps, and we sure do appreciate it. And if that's it, then what more can I say but stay frosty, folks. And thanks for watching.